Hey guys, you're watching VTech, Tom Basel, and Asus announced a few new phones for Europe today. We've heard of these before, the Zenfone 4, the Zenfone 4 Max, the Zen 4, Phone 4 Pro, and you've got some selfie phones as well, but this is the most premium of the bunch, probably the most exciting. It's got some really sweet stuff in it. I'll come on to that in a sec, but before I do, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. So you stay on top of everything we do. All right, as you can see on the front, you've got a 5.5 inch screen. It really is all about the cameras on this thing. Around the back are two 12 megapixel cameras, one loaded up with optical image stabilization. 1.4 micron pixel sizes, so it's all focused at low light photography. Around the back, you've got a similar kind of finish to the Zenfone 4, except you haven't got that really cool spiral effect, which is a bit of a shame. It's just a simple glass back. Still, it looks and feels really, really premium. You have a kind of more, I guess, polished metal side than the Zenfone 4, which is more blasted metal. But like I said, still very premium. Fingerprint scanner below, capacitive buttons either side. At the base is a USB Type-C. You have a 3.5 mm jack and a loudspeaker. Right-hand side of the buttons, volume rocker and power button. Left-hand side, you've got a smart slot. This slot has room for, I think it's two SIM cards and a micro SD card, um, which is really, really cool. Up at the top, nothing of note. But with a focus on photos and videos, you've got electrical image stabilization on that front camera. We can jump into the camera in a sec, but before I do, I'm going to walk you through Zen UI. This hasn't got Oreo just yet, it's Android 7, but Oreo will be coming. Swiping through, Zen UI is really heavily customized. Swiping down, customized notification shade, and you can see it's nice and editable, so that's a really sweet deal. You can make it perfect for you. Jumping into the settings, it also customizes the display settings pretty extensively, so you can, if I jump out of that, pop down screen color mode, pick what works best for your eyes. Otherwise, personally, I find Zen UI quite busy. If you're like me, like all Android phones, you can install a custom launcher. There are also some really sweet sound settings, so you can even customize the experience for each new pair of headphones that you get. Now let's talk about the cameras. The 2 megapixel cameras around the back are different to the Zen Phone 4, because rather than have a wide-angle second camera like the LG G6, you've got a two times zoom second camera. So if I jump onto it, two times zoom, and this enables a portrait mode, very, very similar to that of the iPhone to the OnePlus, etc. Personally, my preference leans towards LG's take and the Zenfone 4, um, but we're guessing that with the higher price you're gonna be paying for this thing, it's gonna produce better quality pictures. We'll have to wait till we get this in for review to find out, and it looks like it'll be a while. This hasn't been confirmed for the UK, just the Zenfone 4. So the selfie camera, if I flip things around, also has a portrait mode as well. Um, you can see me, I'm at the auditorium, and it's got a super wide angle lens right there. Yeah, we got we got a photo bomber. Yo. Um, flipping it right back around. Portrait mode, all that good stuff. Really nice to see that on the front camera, especially with leaks today of the dual front camera on the new Mate 10, which is expected in October. Um, but Asus is a step ahead. They've also got a Zenfone 4 selfie, um, which we will try and get a look at a little bit later today. Other cool things about this, 3,600 milliamp battery under the hood, six gigabytes of RAM, um, 64 or 128 storage capacities, I really, really want it just for that battery. The Snapdragon 835 is a beautifully efficient chipset with 3,600 milliamps. Give it to me. Until then, I'm gonna be reviewing the Zenfone 4. I've published my 24 hour review, so check that out. If you haven't already, any questions, fire them in the comments section below. Like the video, click that thumbs up button and like the channel, subscribe. It's how you stay on top of everything that we do here at BTEC. Thanks for watching.